In this video, I'm going to show you how to download a TI calculator onto your computer. I have the TI-83 here, the TI-83 Plus, and the TI-84 Plus C Silver Edition. Uh, the one I'm going to try to download now is the TI-89. It, <coughs> excuse me, it's a fairly decent calculator, even though I prefer the TI-84 Plus C Silver Edition, but it does have some advantages and disadvantages over either one of these two calculators. So, first of all, I did a search for a virtual TI. And uh, you can go to any of these that come up. This program was written by uh, this guy, Rusty Wagner. Now, I'm going to, you know, for, for no particular reason, I'm going to go down to this one that says virtual TI version 2.5 beta uh, from TIcalc.org. You can go to any one of them. They're, they're fine. But they're all fine. So, and then I'm going to go to the VTI zip and do download. And I'm going to save it. You can save it wherever you like. I'm saving it to my downloads. And then, now yours may take longer. I'm going to open it. And I'm going to do the vti.exe. I'm going to extract all, because you want to get everything out. And because I'm doing the 89, I'm going to add on the little 89 to this. So that way, hopefully, it will not confuse the existing calculators that I have. So do extract. Okay. Now, if you do the vti.exe folder again, okay, it's, um, you're going to welcome to all the other stuff. You're going to have to get a ROM. So before we do all this, let's go and get a TI-89 ROM. So go back up here into your web browser, and let's search for just TI ROMs. Whoops, it's still wrong correctly. And the TI ROMs home is probably the best. So we wait, we wait, we wait. Now, there are actually several TI ROMs that are available on this website. Okay, the TI-84 CE, the TI-84 SE, the TI-84 Plus, the TI-84 PC SE. This one, the PC SE, is the one that will give you this calculator, okay, which to me is probably the best of the uh, TI-84s that are out there. Uh, now, again, the TI-83 Plus will, of course, give you that one. Uh, but you can download any one that you want. You can do the good old TI-73. But again, I want the TI-89 ROM. So we'll download it. And let's save it. And it's going to save it to the downloads. Again, you can save it anywhere you like. If you want to save it to the desktop so you can easily find it, that's fine. Okay. Now let's go back to what we were doing before here with the... Uh, Trying to get the calculator if I can find my place here. Oh, VTI 89. So again, we do this. I'll double click on it. Okay, now again, I have not done this yet. We just did it. So I already have a copy of the ROM from my calculators on my hard drive. Okay, so click that. Do next. Okay, you're going to add, no, notice nothing is here yet. So for some reason, the VTI downloads with no ROM installed. So we're going to install. Now again, this is where whatever ROM you've downloaded, whichever ROM you like, is what you would add. So we're going to click on Add. And remember, we had this in our downloads. So we're going to search in our downloads. And there it is, the, the, the TI89.ROM file. Double click on it. It's added. Okay. So we highlight it. Click Next. And you can read all this crap if you want to. And there's the TI-89. Okay. Now I notice it's kind of dim, so the contrast is there with the diamond button. I would like to make it a little bit darker, so let's press on that and let's see if we can make it darker. It never does work the first time, does it? Or is, that, or is it I'm not making it darker? Mm, come on, you know you want to. Oh, I suppose I should use the correct one. It's actually the orange, isn't it? Second. Oh, come on. 
Oh, and this is where you can change the skin. Um, of course, it's the default uh, TI-89. And notice that to me, it's not quite big enough. So you have these options. You can make it two times bigger, which is incredibly huge. Now maybe this will make it easier for me to see. Come on. Notice that the second does register. So maybe am I doing it the wrong way? But anyway, this is the TI-89. Come on, be dark. I know you want to be dark. So F1, you can see those tools. F2, you can see those tools. Now, again, you're wondering, why did I pick the TI-89 over using the uh, TI-84? Because I, I do like the TI-84. Let's see if it come back on. Suppose I'm doing, let's say I'm, if I'm in the correct mode. So let's see if I check my mode. I'm in radians. And I want to change my float to just float, not float 6. So let me just float. The float 6 says the display 6 to just float will display as many as it likes. So let's see. Now again, why did I do this? Okay, for those that know your trig, if I do like the sine of pi over 3 radians, it's some irrational number. Now notice, uh, let me clear this one out. Let me see if I'm in correct mode here. Mode. I'm in radians. So quit. If I do the sine of pi over 3, <clears throat> excuse me, it gives me this nice decimal approximation. Now, what happens with the TI-89? Now, on the 89, notice that the sine is in orange, so second sine, and we do second pi over 3, close your parenthesis, and it gives us the exact value, the square root of 3 over 2. But you're saying, well, you know, I need the approximation to do something with it. Well, you see this wavy equal sign, which of course in the world of math means is approximately equal to. So, second, oh, excuse me, I said the well, wavy equals it's in green. I'll get it right here in a minute. There, and it gives you the approximation. Well, I also see where I'm supposed to be able to change the contrast. Why don't you guys tell me that? You're sitting there watching me saying, he's an idiot. Okay, so there, um, let's see that crap out. So, make it darker. Make it darker some more. I don't know why the default is to be so light, but you know, you know how these people are. Now, again, that's the advantage and disadvantage of the 89 over the 84. And also something like, um, like those of you who take algebra classes will say, simplify that radical. So suppose you had like um, the square root of 24. Now again, notice this gives you this approximation, which is perfect step of good for approximation. But suppose your teacher really wanted you to simplify that. That 24 is what well, eight? Um, so we'll simplify. Well, let's see. So second square root 24. Close your parentheses. Notice there's a simplified version because 24 is four times six, and square root four is two. Now again, if you wanted this approximation that shows up in the 84, just do your diamond is approximately equal to, and there you go. So again, that's how you can download a calculator, a TI calculator from the internet. Okay. Hope you found this useful and helpful. Thanks for watching.